Hello all this is Santosh and welcome to Tech Design. So in this tutorial I'm going to discuss about subdivide segment. So you can see here this is the command subdivide segment. So it is used to divide the segments. Now, now you can see here this is one connector and this is another connector. This is a single segment we have here. So suppose if you want to divide it into uh, multiple segments. So in that case you can use this subdivide segment. So now I'll just go to subdivide segment and there are multiple options over here. So we can so I'm going to discuss all of them so at point you can see here once you select at point so you need to select a particular you know particular spline so once this is selected you can have you can see your multiple options are there so suppose if you want at 100 mm uh, length if you want to create a point so you can just go to arc length and enter 100 mm here and you can just click apply so the point will be created over here so you can see your point will be created over here so now I'm going to do it as a for a different uh, method so I'll just go to again subdivide and at point so I'm going to select this particular uh, spline path now now instead of giving a spline arc length I'm going to give percentage of arc so suppose it's, uh, in the in my cases I just want this point to be exactly at the middle in that case you can just go to percentage of arc length and here you can enter 50 so once you enter up 50 percentage exactly at the middle uh, the point will be created you can see uh, this has been created so these are the two um, you know methods how we can create by using percentage of arc length and the distance of arc length okay so by using these two options you can able to create a uh, subdivide segment and there is another uh, uh, way you can say are equal segments so in the equal segments what happens is say for example i'm going to select this plane path and my start point will be zero and end point will be 100 and number of segments you can enter over here say for example i'm going to enter five segments so if i enter five segments and i click apply there will be five segments will be created and they all in equal length so you can see here the uh, this whatever the length between these two and these two everything is, remains the same so that is how uh, it works so, and there is a one more option uh, you can see here arc length segments okay so here I'm going to select this segment and uh, let me keep start length and uh, end percentage as 0 100 and then here I'm going to create the number of segments so five number of segments i'm going to create at 25 length say for example now what happens is so between 0 to 100 so between 0 to 100 25 mm arc length there will be a point so this is a 25 mm arc length uh, one point will be created here so we need five points similar to like that so it will create five points until the fifth point so after that whatever the segment will remain same okay so now let me click ok so you can see here uh, five segments will be created this is one two three four and five so these are the five segments that are created but uh, the distance between here is uh, only 25 and the rest will be as it is so this is how we can use this subdivide segment we have all the three options about the most important and most useful command is at point okay so now uh, let so let me tell you what is this uh, you know create tangency at segment uh, subdivide point so suppose if the point is created thus uh, you know tangency will be created in case in any of the spline or any of the routing path is created from that particular point and add point to maintain the shape so it is it is going to create a point here so that is what it means and apply fix constraint so it is it is going to fix the particular point so you don't need to apply this fix constraint so you can just keep it as it is so now i'm going to show you how we can use this subdivide segment in different uh, you know um situation so now we can see here these two connectors are connected to one module and these two connectors are connected to another module the routing path is remain same so in that case you just need to create a bundle and then uh, you have to route it so in that case what you can do is you can just go to subdivide segment and you can just create uh, at point so i'm going to create at point so at point here i'm going to create one uh, point and now again on this side i'm going to create one point here okay so now between these two uh, there will be three segments here so i'm going to delete this segment i don't want this segment and now let me move this point on this particular line okay so similarly i'm going to do it for this as well so i'm going to go to spline path again and here this point i'm going to place it on particular path okay
so now you can see here so these two connectors are coming and they give, they become a bundle here and they'll be routed through here so in this cases uh, you can use this kind of subdivide segment and divide the segments into multiple multiple you know segments and then you can use it for your uh, routing hope you understand this uh, tutorial if you have any doubts please comment in the section below i will try to answer thank you guys